Thanks for checking out my Linktree tutorial for beginners. Here I'm going to be showing you how to use Linktree from scratch, and I'm not big on introductions, so let's get right on into it. So, when you go to create account, they're obviously going to ask you to create a username. They might ask you to enter in your socials. I skip past that part so you can actually follow along with me when it comes to entering those as well. Nevertheless, what we want to do is start with our theme, which is going to be at the top right section right here. All right, I'm also gonna be using the free plan here so you can follow along with me regardless of which plan you have, but there's not gonna be many uh, upgradable options when it comes to using free. You can scroll down a little bit more in case there are any others you wanna use, but what I recommend doing first is creating your profile in terms of adding the links to it, adding your images, and then you can go on and change it because you'll have a better idea of what it's gonna look like overall. With that in mind, let's click on edit image. Here I want to upload my own image. You can design with Canva. If you did have one here and you wanted to delete it and add a different one, that's how it's done. But allow me to upload my own very quickly. All right, and so here's the image. It's going to ask you to crop it if needed. I think that looks just fine how it is. I'm going to click on crop and upload. All right, and just like that, we now have a nice little classic image here in terms of it could be your brand, it could be a picture of you, whatever it is that you really want. Let's click on edit display name and bio. All right, so you only get 80 characters here, so make sure you put what you're all about. I just put software tutorials and reviews that help you grow your digital business and save. All right, now that we are done with that, let's click on X. And of course, we can do some social icons underneath it, so let's click right here. It says show visitors where to find you. You can add your social profile, email, and more as linked icons on your link tree. So what we wanna do here is add social icon. Let's say I'm going to be going with YouTube. That's a big one. Here, what you wanna do is make sure you put your entire channel. As you can see, it's gonna show an example. With some other social profiles, they're only gonna ask for say your username, but let me get mine very quickly. All right, so there's mine. I'm gonna click on add. Great, let's do maybe a couple more. Let's do add social icon and we can do TikTok. Same thing here with the username. And you're gonna notice with this one, this is gonna be the example. You just need at and then your username. You don't need the whole tiktok.com URL and do add. Okay, and if there's anything else you wanted to add, like some of the big ones could be maybe threads, email, Facebook, X. There's gonna be a bunch more down here. Amazon, Bandcamp, Be Real. So you can always search for them or just simply look, but that's gonna be where you can include some of your social profiles if needed. So overall, that's kind of gonna be the design aspect. Like I said, it's better off putting a bunch of things in here just to kind of see what it looks like. And then of course, you can always change it if needed. All right, so with that in mind, what I did is go back to Linktree right here. This is gonna be the main admin section. Let's start off with utilizing a shop first. Now, if you haven't used one, it's gonna probably have a button here where it says like just to kind of activate it or use it. And what you'd wanna do, if you ever wanna edit very easily, what you can do is click on my shop right here. So this is gonna be where we can start by adding some products. Click on the add button here. And now you can do a collection, so organize products into a collection. As an example, let's say you were big on clothing, like you could do a collection for jeans, you could do a collection for t-shirts, and kind of just organize them that way. So, so that's the big difference there. We have a product where if you just wanna add one product, you can do that, and you can create a shoppable social post if needed. I'm gonna go with product, it's pretty straightforward. Let's click here. And let's say I want to go with Amazon, so I'm gonna click on Amazon. And I'm just gonna search for the Blue Yeti mic. Okay, so we have some things related to it. And then of course, here it is. This is the mic I am using right now. I've had it since 2012. I've had it a good amount of time. This thing is just unbreakable. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this. Let's say I wanted to promote this. Okay, so it says Amazon products in your Linktree shop will be eligible to earn soon. And you can tap here for more details. It says you'll be eligible for Amazon commission soon. It takes about a week for shops users to get approved to earn from Amazon. We'll let you know when you're all set. Okay, so let's do add product. So that's gonna be as simple as it is when it comes to adding product. Of course, there is gonna be post if you need to do that. And when you do add more products, what you can do is click right here and just simply drag and drop which one you wanna be at the top. A little note for you here is that 
Ideally, if you have a shop, you want to put the most important product on top. And why would you want to do that? Because when someone comes to your profile and say they go to shop, they're going to see the ones on top much more than the ones, say, if there's 50 of them all the way on the bottom. It's kind of like when you go to a web page, people look at the headline and many times they're either going to bounce, go back or read down further. And it's the top that always gets the most eyeballs. So something just to keep in mind, whether it's going to be your shop or your links, the most important links, products, anything should go towards the top. Okay. So this also says Amazon products in your Linktree shop will be eligible. We talked about that. This most importantly says you'll need to earn at least $10 and be verified with our payment provider to withdraw. Allow me to show you where you can do that. So what you want to do is click on the gear right here for settings. So when you are verified and when you are good, you can withdraw your payments. All right, so let's scroll down ever so slightly. And right here it says social commerce status is approved, which is great. And this is gonna be where you connect your link tree payments. It says manage which bank account your payouts go to. This is how you get actually paid out. So by clicking on here, it's gonna open up Stripe. If you don't have an account, you can create one. If you already have one, you can log in and connect it. But I'm not gonna let you sit through that and be bored out of your mind just by me signing in and connecting stuff. This is gonna be where you do it and you simply follow the instructions. So if you wanna get paid out, that's is something you're going to have to do. If you don't want to get paid out and you're not a fan of like Amazon affiliate links or anything like that, don't even need to do it, but just want to let you know that's where it is. Let's go back to my link tree right here. All right, and so here we are. And as you're going to notice, there's going to be a section for links and there's going to be a section for shop. Now, if you don't want to include this on your links side or section, what you can do is just toggle this off. And of course it's not going to be there, but it will be on the shop side. So that's something to keep in mind. Like if this is an extremely important product, maybe it's really hot, maybe it's selling well, maybe you do want to keep it here. That's going to be how that's done. Okay. Now maybe we want to add some extra links in here. What we can do is click on add link and there's plenty of things that we can do, but if we go to view all apps, we're going to get a plethora of different features that we can utilize. So you can promote and sell products. We know how to do that. There's going to be chat bots, but let's say you want to share your content. This is going to be probably one of the best sections where you've, if you just want to add a URL to somewhere, this is most likely what you're going to want to do. I see a lot of people asking like, how do I create another link tree link? This is going to be the best way to do it. That's pretty straightforward. So let's click on text. I want to make sure you know how to do this. All right, and as you're going to see, it's going to create this new section. So let's just call this, you know, uh, like a free software cheat sheet. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be our free software cheat sheet. What we also want to do is click on settings right here. And as you're going to see, there's going to be text that you'd like to display. And there's also going to be a button. So a button is going to be great if you want to actually send someone to another spot where they can get what they're looking for. So what I'm going to do here is add a URL and a title. All right, so here we are with the button. We have the button URL where it's gonna go. We have a little title, get your free cheat sheet today. And right here, I just put add the text you'd like to display, don't leave empty handed. So I'm gonna click off there and you're gonna see that this is now going to turn on. So cool thing about this, we can actually click right here. And you're gonna see that this is what it's gonna showcase. So we can edit these things around a little bit better. Probably this section right here, don't leave empty handed. You probably might wanna add a little bit more. So if we go back over here and we go to settings, could say something like tools today, something like that. So a little bit more, you know, get my software cheat sheet that showcases over 40 of the hottest software tools today. That's going to be great. If you want to say generate leads, that's going to be something completely different. I'm just sending to an opt-in page off of this. This is also another great way say, if you have a product, this is how you can actually go and link to it. Like if you have a checkout page or if it's on a landing page somewhere else, this would be a URL. This would be the button title that they're going to see. And then of course, this is going to be a little bit extra. That's going to really entice them to go ahead and click that. So you can actually send them over. Linktree isn't all that great when it comes to selling digital products. There are better alternatives. If that is your goal, I will leave a link down below in the description in case you want to check out one of those cool alternatives for doing so. That's pretty easy, but all in all, as you can see, that's going to be how you can go about actually adding a a link in Linktree. Now there are going to be a few other settings that you can utilize. This is going to be the thumbnail right here in case you wanted to have it stick out a little bit more. I'm going to click on set thumbnail. I'm going to do choose from table icons. You can upload your own, but I'm just going to kind of showcase what they have here. Not a whole lot going on. Let's see. Maybe there's an Island one. No. How about, let's see, like marketing. No. How about free free? No. 
Okay, maybe something like this. This doesn't look too bad. Just kind of want to showcase what it looks like. There we go. So you can obviously change and remove that. I'd probably put like a picture of an ebook or software or like a money bag or an emoji, you know, something like that. But that's going to be how you can utilize that section. This is going to be if you have an upgraded account. So you can say, draw attention to your most important link. I mean, that is something that is going to be beneficial. But like I talked about before, make sure it's going to be at the top. Whatever the most beneficial section is, make sure it's going to be closer to the top. Okay, let's do one more example when it comes to adding links. Let's say you want to maybe add a video. Uh, we can scroll down here. There is YouTube, but I do want to go to view all apps. And as you can see, if you want to share YouTube videos on Linktree, you can do that. I'm going to click on add. All right, so this is just gonna be called, say, Stand Store Review. I'm gonna to go to the URL right here and paste this in and go like that. Great, now it's gonna be showcased. Uh, so it says, display this video on my link tree or you can link off of to YouTube website. So let's just say I wanted to display the video here. Uh, I'm not gonna do autoplay and we can do mute video in case someone wants to like, you know, just obviously play it if needed. There's gonna be a layout section where you can do classic or you can do featured. Let's say we wanna do featured so you can actually see what it's gonna be looking like. And I think that looks pretty good. There is also gonna be a few sections here with redirect and of course thumbnail. This is probably gonna be a good idea if you actually have the thumbnail. Let me see if I have it so I can upload it. All right, so I found it. I'm gonna click on set thumbnail and I'm gonna upload my own thumbnail right here. All right, and as you can see, when you go about creating this, it's gonna showcase that it has square. And this isn't gonna to work too well because either it can get a picture of me or just like part of the thumbnail. But if we do rectangle, now we're cooking right here, okay? So make sure you do that if you have a YouTube thumbnail and click on crop and upload. Ah, and perfect, that looks fantastic, but I am a little bit biased, it is me after all. So, okay, I'm gonna click off there. And once again, remember the most important thing on top, let's say this is gonna be most important. I'm just gonna go like that. And as you can see, give it a second to load, it's going to swap over. So that's gonna be almost all the tutorial. Like it's very simple to do. It's mostly about going in here and clicking on add and figuring out what you wanna do. Also, I just wanna reiterate the most important thing. If you wanna add a link, this is gonna be one of the best ways to do it. So now that we actually have our link tree here, what I wanna do is go back to theme. All right, and what I wanna do is just scroll down and just simply change it around to see what it's going to look like. These are just gonna be some of the free ones. Let's say we have the lake black right here. Let's give it a second or two for it to load. Like, I don't think that looks as great. Like a lot of this kind of gets cut off. So I think something a little bit lighter is gonna be better. So air white kind of similar to what we had before. Just takes a second to load as well. There we go, pretty, you know, pretty basic, pretty plain. I don't mind it though, I think it looks kind of decent. How about this one kind of matches, you know, with the uh, green vibe I here, have here. So that one's actually not too bad either. But really, you know, it's gonna be about just playing around with it. All in all, I do kind of think I like the original one here. I think this lake white one, where it kind of uses the picture here to kind of mask the background. And, you know, there's gonna be some green there, which I think looks fine. So anyway, that's gonna conclude this link tree tutorial for beginners. In this one, I showed you how to upload and add your own image to this, change around your bio, add your social media links, add any link to anywhere you wanna go, maybe add a YouTube video, and of course, add some products to your store and last but not least change around your theme to make sure it matches your brand and just looks perfect for what you're looking to do if you got any value out of this be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton and of course like i talked about before if you do need some help when it comes to selling digital products in your actual link and bio i will leave an alternative to linktree they do a fantastic job at that when it comes to creating and selling your digital products very quickly my name is james thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video